What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the best PDF editor is online. So you don't have to go ahead and actually like download programs. You can, if you want to, this company also has a downloadable version of this software, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this online with like really easy. If you wanna compress PDF, if you wanna add watermarks, the whole thing. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say let's get started with this PDF editor, of course, right after the intro. guys so as you can see right now we are on pdfcandy.com it's actually the first link down in the description so when this video is finished just go there and you can click on it and discover it yourself but before you do that what we're gonna do first is run through the website and see what it can do so right here we have a tons of icons and I actually prepared a blank PDF uh, invoice template just to show you guys what it does so first of all it says that we can compress pdf files we can merge pdf files so let's say they have like multiple ones and you don't want to send like 50 different you know files you can merge them that way we can also convert these ones pdf to word so let's say that you have a pdf file that you cannot edit you can just go ahead and convert that into a word file where you can just adjust things and everything like that we can also convert word files to pdf we can go ahead and also do Excel to PDF, JPEG to PDF, and PDF to JPEG. That's a really good one because, of course, if you have an invoice and you don't want to have it like you you don't want to send it like PDF format, you can just convert that into an image, and then people can have it like an A4 format. Just print it out for their own accountancy and everything. It's really really cool. We have a PDF converter as well. We can even rearrange pages, edit the metadata. We can also edit once. We can split PDF. We can delete pages. Uh, PDF to DOCX. That's basically the format I use in Excel to first create these ones before I you know save them as PDF we can have PDF to OCR docs dot PDF unlock PDFs protect them you can also add watermarks for like for example of your company so let's go ahead and convert this PDF file that I prepared before the recording so on my desktop hold on let me see if I can pull that up for you all right so as you can see this is the invoice template I opened up in Microsoft Edge for a second so of course we have like the invoice number on the very top right we have the invoice date and I just filled in like a bunch of crosses because that depends on like what date you're making the invoice for the company we also have our address that should be around here your fat number that's very important guys because if you create invoices and you forget to fill in the vat number right here in Belgium you can get fined for like a hundred bucks just because there is no vat number included from you or the company so be aware of that that you always double check the invoices and make sure that the vat numbers or the tax numbers are included because otherwise your accountant may call you up and say like all right uh, this VAT number is missing and make sure to fix it as soon as possible before they can actually send you like this $100 fine. It's ridiculous, but that's like the really, really small details you have to pay attention to. So below that, we have the EBAL number, which is basically like the bank account number that you're sending money to. So right here in Belgium, it starts with like BE and then like a ton of numbers. And then below that, that's the BIC or the SWIFT code. That's actually like the standard code of your bank. So especially for like international payments, you need these codes. And then right here, it says issued to that means that, like to who are you writing the invoice right here in these fields that will come the name the address and then right here the VAT number of the client and then the job what is done for example video editing color grading whatever it might be and then the amount on the very right let's say they have like multiple jobs you have like multiple like rates for the jobs you can just put them in here and I'll just calculate them at the very top till the grand total of the, of the invoice and that's how you can have your invoice ready like that then if you want to convert them you can just go back to PDF candy so Right here in the PDF Candy menu, we're going to hit PDF to JPEG. So then it brings us to this page where we can add in the file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on add file. Then right here we have the template.pdf. We're gonna double click on there and then it's going to load that in. And we have like a really, really small preview. But then of course we're gonna pick high quality and then we're gonna hit convert PDF. And then it's just literally going to convert that to an image. And then you can also include that into your email to your clients. So right here it says download file. So if you click on there so then right here we have template.jpg we can just open this with pictures or whatever so let's go ahead and click on okay all right 
So as you can see, I just opened up the template with just random pictures because it's a JPEG file. And that's really, really simple how you can convert these ones. So if you go back to the website for a second, you can also just edit them. So let's go ahead and convert this PDF file to, uh, let's say, a Word. So we're going to click on there once again. We're going to add in the same file. All right, so it says file template.pdf was successfully converted to DOC format. So we can just download this one. And as you can see, it's going to open up with this software that's going to be standard when we want to edit this. So if I open it up and if I maximize it, as you can see right now, this is the actual invoice in Word and or Microsoft Office rather. And you can also do this with like Excel and everything and you can be able to edit it. So it's a really, really cool guys. There are tons and tons of more features. But if I'm going to literally go to the website and cover all these like four and a half or three and a half columns of icons, this video is going to be like an hour and a half long explaining what every single feature does. But you guys get the drill guys. It's really, really simple just go to the website and you can also take your pdf files convert them to whatever jpeg images format you like you can convert them you can add in watermarks if you have like a transparent png logo of your own company or you can just go and also if you for example lost your original docs or word file you can just import your pdf file in here edit it straightforward and that's basically how simple this guys i'm going to keep the rest as a secret i'm just going to keep that for you guys so you can discover it yourself the link is down below and that's how simple it is all right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to PDF Candy for sponsoring this video. If you want to pick up this program or if you want to check out the website, make sure to check out the first link down in the description so you can go ahead and read more about this program and the software and the website and what it does and if you can use it and actually implement it into your own workflow. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.